the third topic for the same lesson what democracy why democracy is the broader meaning of democracy now in the last topics we just understood what is democracy why democracy became the most preferred form of government worldwide now is it just enough that democracy has certain features and they work there should be a broad we should understand what is democracy actually meant for okay now let's see what they are now the first one is democracy we learned throughout that involves a large number of people all people in the country becomes a part of democracy the rule and it is very impractical and difficult or impossible to bring all these people together why any major decision has to be taken and reach a solution so this responsibility is given to the chosen representatives so by elections we choose representatives who will do that work for us since or the whole or the millions and millions of people of a country cannot come together get together at the same time and discuss and reach a solution for any problem of theirs they that responsibility they gave it to their chosen representatives they are elected from among them is it not so it is their duty to work on their behalf it is the duty of the chosen representatives to work on the behalf of the people for their benefits so the responsibility lies with the chosen representative they are the representatives of the people the rep chosen representatives of the people people form the form of government democracy the chosen representatives of the people form the government democracy so that kind of democracy can be called as representative democracy that can be called as representative democracy understood so in a democracy which includes all people of the country and when it becomes difficult to give each of them a role to play in the formed government a role to play in the formed government these representatives take that responsibility and then that kind of rep democracy becomes representative democracy this is the kind of democracy that is being adopted by our country india elections are held representatives are chosen and those representatives work in our name for our best interest that so the democratic form of government in india is a representative democracy not only can we bring all the people together it is not necessary that all these people are skilled to make equally correct decisions and some of them may not be even interested to get together and sit together and discuss and find solutions all these are there it is not just the difficulty of bringing all the people together we may not be able to have all equally skilled people we may not be able to have all equally interested people to be a part of the decision making process and even if we are able to bring all of them together each one will have their own interests each one will have their own likes own opinions dislikes etc and it is not that easy it is very difficult to compromise with all this tolerate all of these and then reach a solution so that is why we have taken the given the responsibility to the representatives to take decisions on our behalf so and they what will they do since they are we ourselves since these chosen representatives are we ourselves what will they do they will think of what is best for the people of this democratic country they will take into consideration the best interest of the people in this process so the best decision is supposed to come out for the people so and this is the best thing that we can note down as 
a good feature of democracy taking all people alike whether powerful whether educated poor or not granting equal political equality granting equal chances for them to be a part of the decision making process of for their country so the ideology of democracy is what is lies in what in the active participation of its citizens in the functioning of the government what do you mean by this decision making process it is a part of the functioning of the government one of the functions of the government is to take responsible decisions for the people and its country so this is the uh, one good feature of democracy all people considered the same and they actively they through their chosen representatives actively participate in the decision making process which is one important function of a democratic government but at the same time don't take it for granted that since it is a democracy that government will be possible to give us all what we need and whenever we ask for they have millions of people to be taken care of there are ample number of uh, problems uh, to be dealt for each uh, each group of people problems related to the state of the country so it is not easy since it's democracy which is to stand for the people it cannot be said that it cannot the government cannot guarantee 100% that all what you ask for at the right time immediately that can be given and brought for you so this democracy this democracy the word democracy the word democracy need not always be used to speak about the existing government or to describe the government but what also can it be used for to set up an ideal standard that all democracies should stand for or should aim for what is that food for all health for all basic education for all shelter for all etc etc opportunities for all job for all all that should be there only when the existing democratic government is able to provide all this for all its people alike it becomes an ideal democracy so it should aim for the welfare of the people and not for themselves it can be ideal when it responds to the needs of the people when it ensures what and what social economic and political equality to all and allow existence of an independent judiciary why did i say independent judiciary because if our fundamental rights are denied to us where do we go constitutional remedies do you remember we have we can approach the courts and get it for us so there should be an uh, existence of independent judiciary so from all what we have learned so far and just now i said democracy becomes true or becomes an ideal one in when it responds to the needs of all its people alike what kind of needs job food shelter health education etc etc yes it can be ideal then when it responds to all these needs so we can say that democracy is always put to test when it passes one test another one will come up it wins only when it is able to move forward with maximum participation and set up a new goal to achieve so now i feel i can correctly quote the words of abraham lincoln what did he say democracy is a government of the people by the people and for the people am i right is it correct what he said did he say it correctly yes it is a government formed by the chosen representatives meaning what meaning what of the people by the people made by them and it is for them they have made such a form of government so abraham lincoln said democracy is a government uh, of the people by the people and for the people which means what people are the most important factor they are given the most importance and priority in which type of government in a democracy and serving people should be its motto and what then that underlines the unique feature of democracy which makes it totally different from all the other forms of government 
which totally makes it different from all the other forms of government. When we discussed about non-democratic forms of government, what was there? Only the ruler was in picture. He ruled according to his liking. But when we discussed the different features about democracy, we, said, we understood that people becomes an important part of this form of government, is it not? So, serving people should be its motto and that underlines the unique feature of democracy. So, that is all what is there in this lesson. Is it clear to you? Any doubts regarding any doubts regarding any topic of the lesson?